Good morning, class. Good morning. All right, so everyone, well, starting with Joseph, I need you to line up on this line from tallest to shortest, as fast as possible. You don't have to be exactly perfect. You just need to. Oh, we can go get it right. You'll need your pairs later on, but just for now, I'll use one pair, which I'll use Trey and Joseph. So if you remember Chinese wall, uh, first two, which we all do, will put arms, and everybody else will run from this green line to this green line with your scarf and your uh, just sitting in your pants, and you you two have to grab it from. Them. All right, you just keep running back and forth. And if you get uh, caught, you have to add them to the wall. All right? Everyone understand? We good? All right. Uh, I don't think you can do this one, dear. I mean, I don't think she needs to be running in this one, right? Yeah. She's... I don't want your heart rate up, dear. You knew that, though, didn't you? Okay, those are fox's tails, huh? Look, he's coming yeah, no hiding the tail from anybody. Got yeah, try not to. Can we like spread the air? Yeah. Well, yeah, some of y'all can start off on this side. Y'all don't have to all start off on this side. You sure the area is large enough? Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I think that's better, Nick. Okay. All right, everybody ready? We're very big third graders. <laughs> Y'all got to cooperate with each other. Well, what what you need to do is they can't stay on the line. They got to they got to move. You know. Oh, it's getting better. <laughs> Gotta trap him. <laughs> yes, you got her. Oh, not for. Oh, did he get her? No, he, he missed her. Oh, Like you, you have to make them stay inside because the kids will cheat. And what kind of values are we teaching our children if we allow them to break the rules? Right? Life skills. Life skills. Right? I think I think Felix is also out because he ran out of the area. But he he ran past the cones. Did he? Yes, he ran past the cones. Use your corners like checkers. 
Box them in, right? You can tell they never chase little cows when they were kids. You cut a few cows, the corners are your friends. Kids quickly figure this out, though. Because we just play these games one time in a time. You see, in real life, you would be playing to get the good at the game. And you also want to play this one. Oh, he's picking up his equipment. No safety hazards. I'll take this. I'll take your scarves. Thank you. Thank you. We can stay right here. Uh, now, do you remember the person I paired you up with? Get back with that person. Uh, kind of give yourself a little space. Not too much, but we'll be moving around a little bit. So, uh, I guess I'll use, use you as an example since you're the closest. So the first thing we're going to do is a co-op uh, stunt break. So I'll give you a list of things to do, and you'll try to do them. So the first thing we're going to do, if you, if you all to lock arms like this, if you would. Now I want you to, you got to work as a team. I want you to sit down, and then I want you to get back up. Without hurting yourself. So yeah, as smoothly and softly as possible. And then when you, once you're down, you get back up. It's not a race, you don't have to go fast. You just have to do it. No hands, no hands. Yeah, no hands on the floor. No hands on the floor. You gotta use each other. You gotta use each other. Yeah, I think the class gets a general idea. All right, so everybody get it? We're good? Got it. Yeah. All right. Start the first. Okay. Let's see if you get it first. Oh, piece of cake. Very nice. Push, 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 push. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right. While they're trying, you gotta do it one more time. No. I'm not. Come on. Try it. Come on. Oh, look. They make it. The machine. <laughs> Wait. Almost. <laughs> so, what is the actual key to doing that? Guys, what's the actual key to doing that rule? Easy. What, what technique? Stay stay together, yeah, you, you both pull, push pull, pull, with your feet. She was trying to carry. <laughs> you can't like use her as a backpack. Uh, that's what it looked like on the backpack. Yes, they, everybody did fine. It's just they figured it out, didn't right, they? So the next thing, I'll, uh, well, since y'all first, I'll use y'all. I need you to get in the same thing, but when you get in the push-up uh, push position in front of him, I need you to put your feet on it. Oh, so turn that way. Okay. This is a centipede wall. So, all right. And since I'll need a spotter, I'll do it one at a time. So. I don't think they need a spotter. No? I mean, if his feet falls, what's he going right. to do? Right. What's it going to do? Yeah. All right, so you see it? All right, now all you got to do is walk three steps, because I don't even want to hurt. So, one. Two, three. All right. Now you can dismount. All right. Everyone understand? Good? All right. Yeah. I want everyone to try to give it to a little space if you have to walk. We're all in third grade today. All in third. I don't, I don't know that, I don't, I don't think we should be. No, because of, um, yeah. Oh, look at that coordination there. <laughs> Good. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to do pair bicycle. So everybody sit toward your partner and put your feet on each other's feet and just walk, uh, act like you're riding a bike. The easiest one. Got to scoot in close to each other. Scoot in close. Try to get your back off the ground. So try to sit up as much as possible. There you go. Make a circle. They look like they're going back and forth. There we go. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, the bike. Very go. nice. Very nice. Good. 
Chain speed. Chain speed. Alright, everybody got it? <laughs> Double Dutch. Everybody's going to get it today, right? to get anybody to sneak out of class because we have a perfect number with no extras. Gonna know counterclockwise? Yes or no? Oh, look at that. Yes. Well, they seem to have that down pretty good. person in group that actually has to do this. So you get down there. When you get down there, you can see if you can go hide behind that trash can in the corner and see if you can see it. He should. Okay. <laughs> it's because the camera's on you. I'll leave. Was it his arm it got caught on? You think he's maybe jumping a little high? I think that, yeah. Get, oh, look, you see how he's jumping? That's the, you don't wear yourself out so much. Morgan's got it. Good job, Morgan. Keep those ropes tight. The hard part is getting in, though. You know, if you can get in, you almost got it licked. Yeah. Oh, I 
Help them out, teacher. Watch somebody and figure out what they're having problems with. Okay, start turning. I think the turners messed up that one, huh? The, the ropes didn't stay tight. It's easy if you do it sideways, but if you're not used to it, you don't have to. So, just make sure you use one foot back, kind of like the rocker, but it's called a scissor jump. So, everybody got it? Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Right, and if so. you still can't get in, keep working on that. Okay. Yeah. get to hide behind the trash can because she ca he caught her. She was going to go play peekaboo back there. If we had more people, it would be easier to, to get out of class. Thank you. Oh, yes. Good job. Morgan got in. Praise on a roll. Look at that. He can do the new step. Yes, you look great. That's it. That's it.
He's in. Oh. The light switch got flipped, huh? Mary's got it down there. Well, I say that and I mess her up. Just look at uh, yeah the tour the turners were not coordinated with that one. Okay, just it's a half a turn, yeah. She almost, it was almost, it's very close. Yeah. That's very nice turning. Oh, so close. It's just not a hundred. We're going for a hundred. Got to get out for a hundred. 
I bet we got some steps. Definitely got a heart rate up. Got a heart rate up. That's it. You. Double Dutch is an extra oh, excellent ex uh, elementary activity. <laughs> A frisbee. Okay, you can't say one of you come get it when they're little kids. What would you do instead? One. Or one on the or something. You it could not necessarily be that same thing, but otherwise they'll both be fighting over who's going to go get I want one side of the group to line up on this line with me. Yeah. Okay, again, hands on head, you know, that's more specific. Uh, High school, it, they would do it on their own. labeled side and then you just tuck your other fingers underneath underneath this little lip just like this and that's how you that's the first part is the grip everyone got it just like this throw it. you look like that no the first part is the grip I don't want to throw it yet <laughs> so everyone everyone can see Mary you got it, yes. it? alright <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so now what I want to do is I want to throw it. The first thing we're going to work on is the back hand. So you want to try to go even, tuck it in to your body, and fling it just like that. Well, not just like that. Just try to get, try to get it to your partner as accurately as possible. The, yeah. the sponges don't go yeah, quite like. So just work with each other. All right, there you go. Okay. And just keep practicing with that. We have any ultimate frisbee experts in here? Yeah, yep. they're, they're foam, so we won't Yeah, Joseph, you played ultimate frisbee? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to see anybody catching it with their teeth. You start doing this with little kids and they start Pretending like they're pups or something, you know, dogs or something, you know. They get goofy. I said when you teach little kids, they start pretending like they're dogs and, you know, chasing the frisbee and you know, all kinds of silly things they shouldn't need be doing. They're soft. They don't hurt anybody. If you whack me in the side of the head, it'll be okay. Oh, yeah. and, and that's why when we're inside, we use these. When we go outside, we use the real ones. Because it's a small area, it definitely can get right in your eye, your face, your neck, teeth. I think y'all got it. Oh, she knows about it. Yeah, forehand. Forehand's a lot. I think he's going to show them how to do a forehand. Should be interesting. Nice job, Alexandria. Wait just a minute, Spence. You don't let little kids hold a frisbee. What are you going to tell them to do? Put it on the floor in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so the next thing we're going to work on is the unhand throw. So you do like this. And just like 
just like that. So you want to, yeah, just like that. You want to keep it underneath like this. Make sure you, uh, for this one, you can try to, like, use your index finger to fling it more. So, like that. It's a little more accurate than the, uh, skill in the back hand. So yeah, the same grip and everything, so just put a little more force into it. You are a machine. You are a machine. This will come in handy when we play Ultimate Frisbee next spring. In 350? Like outside? Yeah. It's our last activity of the semester. I love Frisbee. Whoops, that was a little, that was a curveball. Use the whole court, Spence. Use the whole court. Which one, the freeze or the come here? Oh, oh. Uh, hey, Nick. What's the name? Frisbee on the floor in front of you. All right, so next thing we're going to work on is a high catch. So y'all been doing the high throws. So just throw it. I'm going to try to throw it high to you. And just work on catching it above your head. <laughs> yeah, so make sure, like, that's the emphasis. Make sure you try to catch it high. So now you have to throw a little higher. So you can throw it either way you want, as long as you get it above their head. All right? He didn't even have to jump. Yeah, whenever you look at far, make sure you don't run into someone. So don't have the eyes. Just grab it. Like, run into the wall. Do this. Yeah. <laughs> don't run into the wall. Too much. Too much. You almost had it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we Well, I see my ultimate frisbee winners right here. Huh? Yeah, it's the same uh, point. 
He tried to catch it between his legs. Good. <laughs> nice. I like to see him bounce off the floor. I think that's cool. The plastic ones bounce bat better, you know. But this is... If you got 60 kids in the gym, you don't want to give them real plastic ones. Oh, yes. Got the baseball player over there. Here he goes. He's winding up. <laughs> Look at that. It's rough to be a little kid again. Have to be a beginner at everything. We're gonna play. We play golf, frisbee, and 350. Ah! 
Can't blame that on the thrower. What should he be doing right now that he's not doing? When did he come to this side? This side of the class. Yes. He's, he's always on that side. He's, got, he's not using the whole room. So they're getting a lot more attention over there than you guys are. And he's doing a good job. It's just he needs to work on that. This is the problem with not having a watch on your wrist. That's why you need a watch. We didn't get the closing activity. 